Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Vita and what in the world? Uh, He-Man wasn't on the schedule tonight. Uh, what is going on here? And here comes He-Man. He's coming down to the rain as we speak. And he was not on the schedule for tonight for any matches. So I don't know what's going on. And we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen, of what uh, what this is. I don't know what this is about at all. And He-Man is getting ready for something. I just want to first of all say this. I went down in the employee's lounge and looked in the refrigerator this morning and my protein shake was gone yet again so I have put up surveillance cameras to figure out who has been stealing my protein shakes and what do you know I caught you Jack Sparrow so Jack Sparrow get down to this ring right now and face me like a man you filthy thief I am not afraid of you what? L ladies and gentlemen, um, He-Man claims that uh, someone's been stealing his employee, uh, his uh, protein shakes out of the uh, employee lounge and out of the fridge. And he has accused Jack Sparrow of being the man behind his missing protein shakes. And, uh, He's calling Jack Sparrow out. I mean, uh, I guess we'll get to the other matches later. Uh, th th I, I, I don't know. This match was not part of the schedule on Vita tonight. Uh, we actually have some really good tag team matches tonight. But it uh, looks like this match comes first. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know what to tell you all. Um, sometimes this stuff happens. You know, sometimes employees fight. You know, uh, He-Man, he, he claims uh, he's lost uh, a few protein shakes. And finally, he did an investigation, and he claims Jack Sparrow's taken them. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is He-Man versus Jack. What? What's going on here? Pull them off each other. What are they doing? Quit goofing off, guys. This is not funny. Okay. Get them off! Get them off of each other! Get, what is this? Some goofy match or whatever? I don't know what it is. Here comes Jack Sparrow, though, taking advantage of whatever went on just now. I don't know what that was about. But um, it doesn't look like Jack Sparrow would be the guy to take the protein shakes, you know? He doesn't seem like he has that, you know, that motivation to steal protein shakes. Now, if it was Captain Morgan or any type of rum, uh, you know, I might I might disagree there. I'm, I mean, I might agree there, but protein shakes, it just doesn't sound like something Jack Sparrow would do. But you never know. He is a pirate, so you got to take that into accord. And uh, He-Man with a nice DDT there. And He-Man's going to work with the elbows. He's had enough of Sparrow. And, uh, uh, he, he got real mad. I mean, he came down earlier. Uh, I mean, he came down to the ring and basically called Jack Sparrow out, called him a thief, told him to come down in this ring so he could fight him. So, I don't know. I don't know what Clifford Welch or Old Twig's going to think about this because th there's supposed to be other matches. This match wasn't part of the schedule. And he, man, he just had enough of his protein shakes going this, and he put a camera up. He got, uh, he found the culprit. And, uh-oh, here comes he, man. And look here. Oh, man. I don't know a lot about he, man, or Skeletor. Um, uh, but I'll, I'll tell you what. He, man's not a guy you want to fight. I know that. If there's one thing I do know, that is one thing. Uh, one person you don't want to fight is He-Man. 
And look there. Oh my goodness. And look at He-Man go to work. And look at He-Man. Oh my goodness. This match has became brutal. I mean, he's ticked off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And look here. Oh, man. Throws Jack Sparrow across the ring like he's nothing. And we got a lot of matches tonight on Vita, guys. We have, um... We have two tag team matches. Uh, one will be uh, uh, one will be the Predator and Freddy Krueger versus Clarence, T.J. Michaels, and Lurtz Nick, and the other one will be um, Thomas the Tank and the Old Twig versus Clifford Welch and a mysterious tag team partner. So I can't wait to see who the mysterious partner is. The He-Man's taking advantage of this matchup. He's definitely got a motive to be angry. And look at Jack Sparrow, though. Oh, man. Trying to clear his name. Uh, if he wins tonight, he'll clear his name. And uh-oh. And He-Man's not going to have it. Sparrow continues to try to fight E-Man off. And look here. Oh my goodness, a low blow to the masters of the universe. <laughs> and uh -oh, Jack Sparrow in control now. And look, he's winding up the fist. Bam! Oh, what a move. And Jack Sparrow going for the pin now. And a kick out there. And Sparrow cannot believe it. Well, he better believe it. This match is far from over. And, oh, man. And look here. Oh, my goodness. What a slam. And He-Man, another slam. Jack Sparrow is going to need some rum tonight, that's for sure. The way he's getting hit in the back constantly. And yet again, some, some big, humongous moves here. Oh, man. And He-Man going for the pin. Can he get it here? And a kick out by uh, Jack Sparrow. And He-Man going for a finisher here. And he's going to go right to the pin with that one. Could this be it? And He-Man has avenged his missing protein shakes. Congratulations to He-Man. Uh, now let's get on to the real matches. Um, I don't know what this was about. I, I really don't know. I know He-Man isn't going to be having any children anytime soon after that one. But uh, overall, He-Man destroyed Captain Jack Sparrow. In this matchup. And I don't know why Jack Sparrow would steal protein shakes. That just doesn't make sense. And He-Man is victorious.
And up next, guys, it is a tag team match between both uh, no, um, uh, all four number one contenders, uh, Money in the Bank match, but they're tagging together, and here comes the one, the only, the law man himself, Clarence T.J. Michaels, who has recently taken his duty seriously. Instead of saving cats from trees, he has brought the night stick with him. And R.I.P. those still steps. Oh my goodness. Here he comes. The law is here. And it is ready for its opponent tonight. But he is going to have a great tag, uh, a great tag partner. Uh, this guy's won two matches in a row. He is on a roll. We'll see, um, we're only one week away, well, less than a week away from Money in the Bank. So, uh, I, I can't wait to see these guys in action. I really can't. Uh, it's going to be great. And Lurch Nick is here, of course. Of course, Lord Snick, if you guys haven't known, I know I've said this a thousand times. He was the first hire on Prince McCow, from Prince McCow. He's the first person ever on a WWE game. Or, or, or on 2K. The, well, not 2K. The, they had SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. That was the first man made. The first man hired on. And tonight, they're going to have some competition, though. Both Clarence and Lurch Nick will have to deal with some great contenders. And the Predator is one of them. And he will be teaming up with Freddy. That is going to be a good team together. Um, kind of different franchises. Kind of different vibes we're going on. One more science fiction than horror. Um, but it is what it is. And I can't wait to see these two tag tonight. Only on this channel will you see this happen. Let me just remind you guys, you don't see this on any other channel. No disrespect to the other channels. But when has when has Predator and... Well, first of all, when has He-Man ever had an issue with uh, protein shakes being missing? Only on the Prince of Cow channel. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Uh, there's more to come. There's more going to be more moments like that, hopefully. And uh, I'm glad I'm glad He Man solved his problems tonight because I'm telling you, he's not the only one that's had stuff go missing in the fridge. I've had a couple ham and cheese sandwiches that my ex made for me. There, by the way, her, hers was uh, delicious. delicious, delicious ham and cheese sandwiches she made for me, and uh, they went missing a couple times, and I just stopped bringing them. You know, you, sometimes you gotta. You know, I didn't want confrontation. You want me to go back there and call someone out? I, I just stopped bringing food. So maybe this has solved the problem. Uh, because, you know, pe you can't trust people at work. You can't just leave stuff in the fridge. They'll take it. I'm telling you. Uh, but anyway, here we go. You got, uh, you got Lurch Nick uh, um, and Clarence on the same team. And then Predator and Freddy Krueger. Uh, I believe this is a two out of three falls uh, tornado tag. Now our main event will be the old twig and Thomas the Tank taking on a mysterious opponent and Clifford Welch. So uh, that will be a great main event. Now that will be a regular tag. Uh, that won't be a tornado tag. And look there. Oh, what a nice double team there. I believe this is two out of three falls. I'm not 100%. And, oh, look at this submission here on Freddy. Now, 
And Freddie gets out of it way too early in this matchup. Way too early. And Lurch Nick going for the pin. And a kick out there. And look at Clarence going to work. These two are going to work tonight. There's no competition against them. And look at Clarence. Submission locked in. Will Predator tap? Oh my goodness. He already tapped out. That's one count. So it is two out of three falls. Because that wasn't a victory. Oh my goodness. Predator already tapped out. Wow. Clarence submission is deadly, guys. And, and they better be thankful that they're not... In, Predator needs to pay attention. He breaks up the Boston Crab by Lurt's neck. Um, but come money in the bank, it's not about submissions. It's about seizing the opportunity. That's all it's about. And uh -oh, here we go, a, a kick out there by Predator on Clarence. And Freddy gets dropped on his head. And look at Freddy here. DDT. And Predator. DDT. Oh my goodness. And Freddy. Oh. Gets, drops Lurt's Nick on his head. It looks like the tables are turning here. Let's see what happens here. And look at, oh, look at this. And Clarence is showing Predator a dizzy ride. That's what I call it, a Disney, a, not a Disney ride, a dizzy ride. Oh my goodness, and Clarence drops on the Predator there. It's funny how he's fighting the Predator. <laughs> and Lord's Nick. Going after Predator now. and uh, Well, technically he's fighting two Predators. And uh, Lord's Nick going for the pin. This would be a big victory tonight. And they do it. And Clarence. 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 The match is over, Clarence. <laughs> he's still kicking Freddy. Um, wow, what another great victory. Lurch Nick has won three matches in a row. Three matches. Could this be the big comeback that we all have been waiting for? Could this be it? That is the big question right now. Could Lurch Nick return to his golden status that he used to have? I mean, this guy used to be the best. And these two may be celebrating tonight. But come money in the bank they will be enemies they will have to think only for themselves and not for the other person but what a great uh, team they built tonight and it's good to see Clarence is taking bait seriously now um, I know the Clippers made it so he's a little bit happy there uh, but here's our main event and here comes Thomas the Tank and um we're about to kick off our main event right now, and it's going to be a good one. You got Thomas in the tank and the old twig team, uh, against Clifford Welch and a mysterious competitor. Who will it be is the question. Who, who is Welch going to bring to the table is the big question. And here comes the old twig. 
No! He in, are you, old twig, are you going? Are, old twig, are you going to the nursing home? No! He's not going! He refuses to leave! Oh my goodness, this man has been nothing but a grumpy old man. Look, he refuses to go to the nursing home. No! <laughs> man, the old twigs get ready for battle tonight. Is he going to the nursing home, though? What does he have to say? No! <laughs> He's not going, he refuses to go. <laughs> and the old twig, who is going to be Clifford Welch's tag team partner? Whoa. This could be big. Oh my goodness. It has returned. Wow. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is the same person or robot. We don't know. If it's a robot, if it's a person in a robot suit, uh, it still has not been determined yet. But this is the person that saved Clifford Welch's life and um, from Berenstein. So here comes the Lord Lord Slayer. We don't know anything about this character. Um, nothing at all. It's still unknown what is going on here on this channel. I, I just don't know what to say. I really don't, honestly. I had to get I had to get me a drink. And um oh my goodness. And fist pump. <laughs> and the Warlord Slayer is here. What a great competitor to go up against Thomas the Tank. It's machine versus machine. And manager versus manager. This is going to be interesting. And I love the glow. It's awesome. And there's a there's a golden scarf. Hmm. The Warlord Slayer is here still. Like I said earlier, um, not much note on the identity. Or is it a machine or a person in a machine? We don't know. But Welch has a great tag team partner tonight. I mean, Welch owes that 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 machine a lot. He, it's the only reason he's walking right now. Uh, he had surgery; it was pretty bad. Um, yeah. So, And look at Thomas. I hate when he does that. And here's our main event, guys. I hope you all enjoy. Here we go. And the Warlord Slayer so far uh, in control of this match. Look here. Oh, look at this. I don't know if we're going to get a uh, submission that quick. Thomas now. Both, the, both of these machines are super heavyweights and not to be messed with. Meanwhile, the other two are light heavyweights. Old Twig could be a cruiser. I'm not for sure. So could Welch. Welch is tall, though. and But he's kind of skinny. I, I don't think he's as skinny as the old twig is. And the old twig trying to get the Warlord Slayer, but it didn't work. I like how he just slowly walks across the rope. And look at Thomas. Uh-oh. Swing is locked in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. That's a lot of weight, though. He had some trouble with that. He had to let go early.
And uh oh, here comes Welch and Thomas. Ta uh oh, we're going to see a preview of Money in the Bank. And the old twig takes advantage here. Oh, clotheslines Welch there. Oh, man. Well, has he been training or something? What is going on? Of course, Welch is not in 100% at all after what Berenstein did to him. And uh oh, here comes the twig. The twig is, uh, oh, look here. Oh, missed. The twig missed. And look here. Oh, man, what a nice slam there by the old twig. I got to give him credit where credit's due. That was pretty neat. Oh, man. Thomas better stay out of it. This this matchup right now is between the Twig and the Welch. And Welch getting to the Warlord Slayer. The Twig better run. Oh, my goodness. Look here. The Slayer is in the house. And, oh, spears the twig like crazy. And look here. Oh, man. And the Slayer just hit the, a, a spine buster on the old twig. Of what twig of a spine that he has. Um, oh, my goodness. An old twig is just getting punished here by the Warlord Slayer. The machine is in action tonight. It's uh, the machine's first match that we have seen. Of course, he did fight Berenstein. Destroyed him. And uh-oh. Look here. The twig's in big trouble. Could this be it? Oh, man. What a nice move there. And uh, the Slayer's going for the pin here. Uh-oh. Here comes Thomas the Tank, though. Breaks up the pin before Welch can get to him. Of course, Welch now throwing him down, but it's too late. He accomplished his mission by breaking that pin up. And it's not just about, you know, one competitor. It's about a team here. So you got to put that into mind. And, um, oh my goodness. What a, a, oh my goodness. And the old twig's being punished. Oh man. Knee to the head. And that was just that was so degrading for this old senior citizen. And, um, uh oh. Let's see what happens here. Uh oh. DDT by the old twig. Whoa. He is looking better than he ever has in any match tonight. I mean, out of his whole career, which has been puny as can be, and the Slayer kicks out. I'm going to call it the WS. I think that's so so much easier than saying the whole term Warlord Slayer. I'm going to call it the WS. It's so much easier. So, and the old twig is just, he's been doing actually really good. Um, and should Welch be worried? Look at this. Oh, someone hit the gym this week. Or, or either that or he's the one taking He-Man's protein shakes. One of the two. I don't know which one it is, but either way, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. And Welch comes in, breaks up the pin. And uh, w w Welch once again gets the upper hand on Thomas. Um, the tank knocking him down. And uh-oh. Old Twig could be in trouble here. And look at this. Oh, another degrading move. And he keeps on punishing the Twig. And another big move. Uh 
And I, uh, nah. And he tags in Welch here. And I, uh, Clifford and, uh, the Warlord Slayer, the WS together. And Clifford now going after the old twig. And both of these teams have been pretty good. They've been pretty good about helping each other out. So, we'll see what happens here. And Welch. Oh, man. And the old twig, though. Look here. To Thomas the Tank. And Thomas the Tank coming in now. Go at it straight after Clifford Welch with the closed lines. And look there. Three closed lines in a row. That is dangerous right there. I'll tell you. That is something you do not want to get hit with. And look here. This is a head drop. Uh, drop Clifford Welch right on his head. And I don't know what Thomas is going to do here. Uh, uh, look here. Oh, man. Drops on his arm now. And look there. Finisher. That is a deadly finisher. And come money in the bank. Can Alvo handle that finisher is the question. And oh man, Thomas just sat on Clifford Welch's uh, chest. And you guys got to remember, Welch got, had broken ribs from the fight with Berenstein. So that even hurt him even worse. And look here. And oh man, dropped right on the rope. And Welch is in the corner. He needs to make a tag, but he's too out of his own to make that tag that he needs. And, oh man, Thomas is just doing a number on him. And look at Thomas. What a combination. And Welch is paying the price. And Thomas the Tank has been on fire, guys. He defeated the world champion, by the way, on FLH this week. And now, well, last week. And now, he's going after the manager and, and the mysterious machine known as the WS. And I, I look here. What in the world is this? A little combination by Old Twig and Thomas the Tank. Oh, man. They're not looking too bad. I hate to say it, guys, but I, I sometimes I can't be biased. I got to be honest with you guys. They're looking very good. And the Twig, I don't know if he's getting moves from Thomas. I don't know if he's still in He-Man's protein shakes. He's looking better than he ever has looked. So, I mean, we've seen him in, in, as the years have went along. And he is doing great tonight up against Welch. And uh-oh, here he goes. That was a DDT. And oh my goodness, the old twig has just received his very, uh, probably his first victory. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Hell is froze over. The old twig is won. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I, I, I can't. What is going on on this channel? And come money in the bank, should Clifford Welch be shaking in his boots? I think he should be after that match. His job's on the line. Oh man, and the twig takes it. Him and Thomas working great together. And this was unbelievable tonight, guys. As the Twig and Thomas have worked together. And I'm telling you, these two are getting too familiar with each other. And they need to be stopped at this point. And, um, oh my goodness, we're about to hear from the old Twig. Oh my. I just want to let all of you filthy subscribers know that you will respect your elders. Come money in the bank. I am dangerous as can be. I may be an old man, but I ain't afraid of none of you all. I just want you all to know. And Alvo Tobias, Thomas the Tank is going to terminate your career. Come money in the bank. 
Now, I just want all them morons at CTL to know that I'm the greatest manager of all time. I didn't go down like Bobo did this week. Now, I just want to send a message to all of you all that I am the best. And to Alvo and Clifford Welch, you both will be history at money in the bank. The twig and the tank are here. Uh-oh. And ladies and gentlemen, this is from the Utah. This is not at Vita. And oh my goodness, it is Alvo DeBias. Alvo DeBias is here. And uh, is he going to respond? Is he going to actually speak? What is going on here? He's... Um, Old Twig just called him and and uh, Clifford Welch out saying that come uh, money in the bank, it's going to be the twig in the tank. Um, <laughs> I think it's funny. It's a good catch c catchphrase. Come money in the bank, it's going to be the twig in the tank. Uh, yeah, there goes the uh, K Chrysler again with his raps and stuff. and. Here comes Alvo. We might be hearing from him tonight. I mean, that is that is absolutely crazy. And look here. Christian Moore race with a kendo stick. Oh, my God. He's attacking Alvo with a kendo stick. I, I don't know how he got in the Utah, but if you guys don't know, these two have a history, um, despite being both bad. And before Alvo could even grab a microphone, uh, Christian Maurice is beating him with a kendo stick. This is insanity. And I wonder if anyone else from the, the U-Top is here. And I'm t oh my goodness. And uh-oh. Look at Christian Maurice here. Oh man, what a move. And oh my goodness. And Alvo taking a beating. I love it. And Christian Maurice, look here. Is he gonna tr is he gonna try to finish Alvo completely off tonight? Is he? Let's see. Well, no. He's sending a message. He is sending a message. 